Let's explore the use of clone stamp tool in Photoshop. You can find the clone stamp tool in Photoshop under this icon. Right click on this. And the first icon is the clone stamp tool. And the shortcut is letter S. So let's activate that. When you hover over it, it will give you a short description or a, a preview of the clone stamp tool. As you can see, it takes a copy from a part of the image and stamp it to the other area. Clone stamp tool paints with pixel from another part of the image. Let's say from this, from this example preview, it's copying from another side of the image and replacing some part of the image so let's do let's do that let's use the clone stamp tool right click on this and click on the clone stamp tool let's zoom the image let's say i want to remove this box here and replace it with this area so in order for us to do that first we are going to zoom this so we can see further press ctrl plus and click the space bar and drag it down here so you can see or you can pan around let's say i want to clone this in order to clone this by the way you can resize your your circle here or the size of the clone stamp by right clicking and you can create make it big bigger size or a smaller size see as you can see i can do that way you can also change it from here and the type of brush you are using by we are going to use the soft brush and the opacity of 100 and the flow of 100 and we have to create a layer we are going to add a new layer but first we are going to unlock this uh, image layer of the background so double click on this to unlock and click ok and create a new layer because i want to separate the the clone the clone of the of this part here from the image so we can adjust further when we have some discrepancy or, or the distortion on the image. So let, let's clone on this. Make sure you select current and belows and select the first la top layer here. Current and belows, it will select the current layer and the below of that layer. But if you select the current, it will only select this, which we don't have image here. So select current and belows and press alt to, to clone this area as you can see once you clone that and click alt then click left click as you can see if i hover over it it will give a preview of the of the area where i where i clone it so so you can see where you want to put it let's say i want to put it here and i'm starting to brush you can see that there's a plus in the outside of the circle that means that's the area that we are cloning so you can see where you want to go as you can see i cloned some part here which i don't want to be cloned so i will re change that later i'm going to clone i will make the the make the size of this uh, clone stamp tool smaller by pressing the opening bracket you can do that also or you can right click and re reduce the size let's say i want to clone this area here and start doing this you can press ctrl z to revert it back say so this is the before and the after We are going to clone this part here and brush. Let's clone here. And start over here.
Let's clone this. It will give us a preview. We can clone it. So we achieved that result. We want to clone also this part and replace this. Or let's take from here. Place. So the dark part there is gone. Let's say the before. This is the before and the after. So you can do that with the clone stamp tool. And also you have to clean this part here. Say I want to take this part. And so as you can see, it will give you a preview. So you will know where you want to put it. You can press Ctrl Z and clone this. Let's say we want to clone this part. And I want to clean this part here. Alt, press Alt. And Alt. You can play around for this. So you can, so you will get uh, familiar with the clone stamp tool. I think that's okay now. What you can do also with the clone stamp tool, let's say we are going to use the, the fill, uh, fill option, go to, first we are going to select, let's say I want to remove this hydrant here. I'm going to use the lasso tool for this another option if you want to get easy way of the clone stamp tool. So select this with the lasso tool and select the layer of the image. By the way, I'm going to make duplicate duplicate of this. So I have a reserve image. Right click and look for duplicate, duplicate layer and click OK. And I will turn off the below. So I have a extra image there. So once you select that uh, and the layer, go to edit under edit fill and make sure you select the content aware and click ok what it will do it will replace that hydrant into the surrounding pixel outside of the selection so press ctrl d to deselect now we are going to use the clone stamp tool to clean further of this area so right click select the clone stamp tool let's say i want to take a sample from here press alt and left click and start brushing like this. Can also take sample of it from here. Press Alt, take a sample, and start brushing. You can always press the Control or the Control Z to revert back, so you can clean that area. So I want to remove this also. I'm going to use the lasso tool and fill it with the content aware. So it would be easy to, to clone stamp. So edit, fill, content aware, click OK. So it's gone. Now we are press Ctrl D to deselect. Now, now we are going to use the clone stamp tool. Clone stamp tool. Take a sample from here and replace that part. So that so I can I copy also the pipe, so I'm going to replace that. So I will take sample from here. And also the window part. I want to copy this also. I can copy this, let's say, but I want to create an opposite orientation of that. So press Alt and, and left click. Go to Windows, under Windows, look for the clone source. In clone source, as you can see, I want the orientation of that part there to be in the opposite way. You can use the clone source 
by clicking on this and it will flip the selection into that. So let's say I want to put it here. Okay. Control Z. Maybe around like this. And I can repair that. You can click it back again. So when you ever click a new clone stamp or use or create uh, a, a new clone, it will not uh, revert or flip the, that, that selection. So I'm going to take a sample from here. And then brush something here. Something like that. Adjust the size. And put it here. I think that's look good now. Let's say we are going to copy this window and put it on the on the other side. By the use of clone source, we can revert the or, or change the orientation of the window once we copy it here and it will be facing to the left instead of facing to the right so let's use the clone source you can always find the clone, so clone source under windows or window clones and click on the clone source and it will snap on this area you can flip the selection into horizontal way and you can flip on this area flip vertically upside down in this one left side or right left right like that check always on the show overlay because once you create a, a clone it will show this preview once you untick on that it will not show the preview so sh click and i'm going to clone this part here i will start from here and it i will click on the flip of the horizontal and let's move this away i want to start here so it will uh, be part of this area and start brushing i always use the soft brush so it will create this kind of oh by the way we are going to first uh, create a new layer so i want to separate this so start again as you can see, there's a plus outside of the circle. That means that's the... Let's reduce the size. I want to... Why I usually create a new layer for every clone stamp is... Let's say I want to remove some part here. I don't want to be cloned. But I accidentally add a clone of it. What I can do is I can add a mask. You can click on this and it will create a layer mask. Layer mask is something like you can use for concealing some part of the image. Let's say for this, I clone this part and I don't want this discrep discrepancy here. So we can use the mask to remove this. Make sure you select uh, or press D. So it will revert this uh, color for uh, background and foreground color here into the default. And you can revert it by the use of this. Click on this and it will choose the black. The black conceal and the white reveals. Let's say I want to conceal this part. This part. Let's zoom this. Make sure we select the hard brush for this. And I want to remove this. Click on this and hold shift and click on this part and it will create a straight selection there so once we clean that let's say i want to remove this part also so click and hold shift also this one click and hold shift and brush around now we can make it bigger and start removing or use the brush brush make the size smaller and start brushing and make it softer now so as you can see if it's a hard brush it will create this part here so like this now let's go to that clone stamp because i see this part here 
need to clean this part so don't stop brush let's use the brush make sure you select the black select the the mask here and brush on this so I don't want this part to be here so that's the use of the clone stamp if you have some discrepancy or you, something you want to remove you can use the clone stamp that's why I separate the I separate the clone stamp area into a new layer so if I want to reduce that's why I want to remove this also you can play around with the clone stamp tool so in order for you to get familiar let's revert this it's okay now that's I'm going to merge this merge this for us to see the before and after so click select on this and select press shift and click on the below and con press ctrl G to group this when when I turn off this layer or the group layer it will show the below layer which is this one so this is the before say before and after this is the before once I turn on this uh, group and this is the after so you can use the clone stamp tool with that in, in if you want to replace some part of the image you can use it in another photo let's say for some image that has some photo bomber you can use the clone stamp tool so as you can see you can do that way so this is the before and the after so i hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching